This is a language bar related tutorial in Windows 7. Currently the language bar is not visible down here near the clock. And to do that, to make it visible, let's go to start menu and control panel. Clock, language and region. Region and language. Keyboards and languages change keyboard and from here let's press the add button and choose whatever language that you need to install check that one and click ok apply and it's not visible and at language bar it's set to hidden so let's go to this one docked in the taskbar click apply and now it's visible okay and in case that the language bar is not visible and here it's checked docked in taskbar you can do the following thing go to a start menu and type ctf m o n ctf mon and click on it and the language bar should appear after then okay and to make the language bar always visible here and not to type each time ctf mon here in the start menu you can do two things for example we can add it to add ctf mon to the registry so that when Windows starts uh, CTF1 will be loaded automatically to do that run this command this one from a command prompt window as an administrator so let's go to a start menu type CMD this is from the command prompt right click on it and run as administrator Okay, and select this line of command copy it paste it here right click and paste and press enter ok the operation completed successfully and this added reg edit this is the registry editor this added a line into the H key local machine software Microsoft Windows current version and run location. This is the CTF mon. Okay, so after Windows restarts, this CTF mon will be loaded out automatically. Or another way to make the language bar appear without typing each time CTF mon. We can go to this startup location either by go to going to File Explorer and pasting in that path and hit the go button. I have Rocket Duck here in this location, or just go to the start button, type no, not type, go to all programs and here it is startup I have two programs there right click startup and click open this goes to the same path uh, which is specified here ok and let's open another explorer windows explorer window and find on the C drive where the Windows flag is present usually it's on the C drive let's find the ctf1 file it's in Windows directory system32 just type it in and it should go there and ctf1 so here's the file let's drag it using the right click on the mouse to the startup folder and here click create shortcuts here ok and that's it two ways to add ctf mon to the startup location
from which the language bar should automatically appear and be usable when Windows starts. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Bye-bye.